Hi guys, um, today I want to talk about a little bit of harmony in theory. I want to talk about something just called harmonizing a scale. Harmonizing a scale basically means you take the, the notes of the scale and make chords out of the notes. Um, so in our case, um, I'll be using C major. So the notes will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, the octave. And usually chords consists of thirds. Um, so how do I get, get thirds out of my scale? Well, I play one note, skip the next one, play the third note, and there you have a third. And then you do the same thing, you skip the next one, uh, which will be F, the fourth note, you play the fifth, and that's another third. Right there, we have um, C, E, and G. Major third, perfect fifth. So that would be a C major chord or C major arpeggio. If you play the note separately. And um, usually, to be more precise, um, you also add the seven, which would be skipping the sixth note, the A, and going to the B. So in that case, we have. One, three, five, and major seven, which gives us a C major seven chord. And then basically you repeat the whole thing, but you start on the second note of the scale, which would be the D. And then you do the same thing. You play the D, leave out the E. F would be your next um, third. Leave out the G. A. Leave out the B. C. So the next four notes out of the C major scale would be D, F, A, and C, which would give you a D minor 7 arpeggio or D minor 7 chord. Okay? And then you repeat the whole thing starting on E, which would give you the notes E, G, B, is a E minor 7 chord. Okay, then you go to the fourth note of the scale, which would be an F. Do the same thing F, A, C, E, face. F, A, C, E. And that would be an F major 7 chord. Now, if you do the whole thing starting on G, always keeping the notes diatonically, which means uh, notes of the C major scale, um, you'd get a G dominant 7 chord, which would be um, root, the B would be the major 3rd, the D would be the perfect 5th, and the F would be the minor 7. So you have a major chord with a minor 7, and that is a dominant chord. Now, if you notice, um, until the fifth, um, there's no difference between the F major and the, and the G major. Both consist of one, three, five. Um, root, major third, and perfect fifth. So that's why you want to be a little bit more precise and add the seven, because if you add the seven, um, the F major seven has a major seven, while the G dominant seven has a minor seven. Okay? Um, the next note would be A, so that's A, C, E, and G, and that's an A minor 7 chord, or, yeah, A minor 7. And then um, the final note, or the final chord would start on the B, the 7th note of the C major scale, and that's a little bit, um, that's a weird chord, it's a B, D, F, and then you have um, an A. So what we have here is um, one minor third flat five flat seven. And this chord is called minor seven flat five or half diminished, as opposed to full diminished, which I will explain in a different lesson. Okay. So our seven chords are C major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven. F major 7, G dominant 7, 
A minor 7, B minor 7 flat 5.